What's going on people? Welcome to GFX Capture. Today is another video in the Infarto Elements series. In case you have missed the previous videos, then please follow the link at the top or in the description below to, to check the full playlist. Infarto Elements is a place where you get tons of stock footage, templates for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Illustrator and much more. What is more exciting is that you get a full commercial license to use the content. So in this video, I wanted to share with you a new plugin for Photoshop I got from Envato Elements. It's called Matrix Cloner by Banging Joints. Simply download the zip file into your PC or Mac and unzip it in your desired location. Open Photoshop and make sure you run it as administrator if you're running a PC. When it opens up, go to File. scripts and go to browse. Now locate the file, the installer file that you've just unzipped. Okay, so that's the installer file. Just double click on it and it will say installation complete. Now close the Photoshop and go back into it. So once you've done the installation, open up Photoshop and just open any image that you want to edit. So I have this image now. What I will do is to go to Window and go to Extensions Legacy and there you will see the Matrix Cloner plugin. Just simply click on this and you will have this menu appear. Now you have two options. One is the Cloner, one is the Matrix. Um, you, I'll show you both of them. So first of all, we'll do the Cloner and what you do is click on the Auto and you can either do the x-axis, the y-axis, and you can select the number of clones that you want as well. So by default, it's set to three. I can change it to four, and you can change the scan effect um, in and out. And I'll show you the difference between this as well, and the offset as 10 pixels as well. Okay, so you can change this. Let's, let's leave it by default for the first go. And what we'll do is that we'll just select say we'll select this and there you have you have four clones on this side okay okay so let's do the y-axis and we'll change the number of clones to let's say two and make that as out for example and let's try it again there we go okay okay and now you can select go to the matrix go to auto render and you can either do mix or flip let's go for the, the mix one for example uh, cells nine and we leave the scatter to zero let's let's leave everything by default and let's try it again on this side of the image okay so it kind of makes a matrix over here what you can also do is to go to the the move tool select that and then you can individually move all these blocks as well if you like so it gives you a lot more power and and really change it to how you how you want it to look and what you're trying to the message that you're trying to give okay so let's try the flip for this time and we will go and do the uh, marquee tool and let's try the scarf and the coat here Okay, there we go. So next, maybe I can just use this side. And actually what you are seeing is that it's basically taking that image and flipping it. Okay, because we have selected the flip, it's not the mix. Mix was here, flip is here. Let's, let's see if we can actually do the scatter as well and go to about five pixels. And we will do, let's, let's do his face or here. Okay, there we go. And let's see swatch effect if we add switch uh, the, the color to it. Let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. What about invert? Let's try the invert option as well. Okay. 
okay there we go maybe not doesn't really look good on, on on this particular image but there you go you have the option anyway if you want to use it you can do so just wanted to share this plugin with you i think it's very useful it's very powerful and you can use it in a lot of the things so i hope the video was useful for you if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and we will see you in the next one thanks bye